Hi everybody, today we're going to do two crafts. I had bought this at a yard sale. Um, it is too big to put on top of my little Halloween tree. So the first craft is I'm going to show you how to make a witch's hat. You can um, paint yours or you can use just black heavy construction paper. Um, I'm going to use just what I have around the house. And I'm going to first start by tracing out the circle um, from my cup that's about the size that I want. And then I'm going to cut that circle out. You'll also need a rectangular piece that's about whatever height you want and at least a width and a half to two widths of the circle that you cut out. And you're going to kind of fold it so it's like a teepee, kind of roll in on itself. And then you're just going to cut off the extra. You can leave a hole at the top like I did. I'm going to put... Uh, something down in the hole later you'll see that so I'm leaving a little hole in the top now I am covering mine with cloth um, but you like I said you can paint it color it use markers um, decorate it however you would like I'm going to tape it um, in a second you'll see me taping it and then we will trim off all the extra and make it have a flat bottom Now I am going to take my black piece of cloth and I am going to hot glue the circle to the cloth and then I'm going to trim out around the circle. The next step, I'm going to take hot glue and I'm going to squirt it all over the cone for the top of the hat. I'm going to lay it on the cloth and I'm going to roll it onto the cloth just like a burrito and cover this cone, the top part of the witch's hat, with the cloth. After it's covered, I'm going to trim it all down, glue down any extra pieces that need to be, and trim it all up the way it needs to be to look nice. Because I'm going to add a bat to the top of my hat, I am putting a pipe cleaner down through the center hole, the top, and I'm going to glue that in onto the back of the hat. I'm going to finish trimming this and then I'm going to work on putting a hole, which I should have done this before because cutting through the hot glue that's dried is not easy. And the hole just needs to be big enough for the top of my tree to go through. Now I'm going to put some glue on the inside of the hat and glue it onto the brim of the hat. Then I'm going to go around and hot glue the excess part of the top of the cloth down to the brim of the hat so that you don't see the white. 
I'm also going to put a white bow on it for some contrast and I'm also going to glue a leaf and these pretty black and purple flowers that I love so much onto it. If you have a big long stem, go ahead and trim that down so that it sits more flush on your hat. Make sure when you're gluing things on that you remember if you're doing like I did where you're going to have a bat at the back of the hat, that you're putting things on lined up with the back of the hat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use this little bat ring and I'm going to cut the ring part off and I'm going to glue it to the um, pipe cleaner that I put on the back of the hat. And there it is. The witch's hat from my little Halloween tree is done. Okay, for this DIY, we're going to use the skulls from the Dollar Tree. Um, the eyes that I have here do not fit in the skull, so I ended up using the eyes out of the flowers. So, um, and I also used the flowers on the other skull. I had to make a hat, because I couldn't find one, for my gentleman's skull. So I will use the same basic skills for that hat as I did for the witch's hat in the other video. So keep, um, Keep that in mind when you're doing this one. I didn't like the color of these, so I took white paint and I painted them down. Just plain craft paint. And then I blotted it so that it kind of had a matte look to it. And then let them dry. I really liked the effect that they had when they were done. Now for my hat, I used a smaller cup because I didn't want too big of a hat. I just cut around it, cut it out, and I did it a little differently this time, um, but you'll see in the video, it's the same basic structure. For this one, it's just a round top hat, um, a rectangle to make the top part of the top hat. I traced out the circle for the top. I painted the top of the top hat. Um, after I glued it on and I painted around and on the bottom of the brim of the top hat instead of using all cloth. This way I didn't have to worry about any of the white showing through. Here I'm actually cutting the hole first. Because of the roundness of the head you want a hole to help make it so that it sets on the head a little better. Again, I'm painting the brim and the top part of the top hat. It just made more sense to do that. This way, none of the white was showing. And it just made it go so much easier and so much quicker. And like with the witch's hat, 
um, you're going to want to hot glue the top part of the top hat and a roll the hat in the cloth just like with uh, like a burrito um, if you're going to paint the whole hat that's fine or if you're using construction paper that's fine also I wanted to have it be cloth so that's what I'm doing here And of course, you're going to need to trim and all that. But if you are not using cloth, you can skip all these additional steps of trimming the cloth down and all of that to make it look nice and neat. This is a spot where my phone showed it was recording and it wasn't. So I didn't have a piece showing uh, me putting the cloth on the brim of the top hat, the top part of it. But um, it is what it is. And then I glued the, the um, top part of the top hat onto the brim. And now I am trimming down um, one of the gem spiders to put on the hat. I'm also gluing on just an orange ribbon. I'm not putting a bow, just putting the ribbon around it um, for a hat band and gluing on the orange spider. Like I said, the, the ping pong ball kind of eyes were too big, so I used eyes out of two stems of the flowers. And um, I had to build up um, glue in the eye sockets because they were too deep, had like a hollow, then I had to build up quite a bit of glue in order to get the eyes to be glued in there. So that's what I had to do and then let it set. And again, this is another spot where I lost a little bit of footage and I'm not sure what was going on. Um, and there he is with the hat glued on and his eyes glued in. And now we're going to go on with my Mrs. Skeleton. Um, I took three of the um, flowers, two of the one color and then one black one that I took an eye out of. And I trimmed the, eye, the, the stem that the eye was on down a little bit so it wasn't as noticeable. And... Um, it took a little bit to get the first flower to stay because of the shape of the head and the shape of the flower. Um, you do want to actually put glue on the flower petals themselves also helps. So there they are. I absolutely love how they turned out. Um, you do yours however you want. Add bows for her. Um, hair bows, whatever you want. Whatever flowers or whatever you want on him. Um, color their noses. Do whatever you would like. Um, so there's a couple of quick little DIYs. Give you some ideas um, that you can use to make some decorations. Show you how to make uh, witches hats, uh, top hats, anything you need for decorating for Halloween if you can't find the decorations you need because let's face it things are not coming out very quickly this year. Everybody I hope you enjoyed this. I tried to make it as short and as easy and simple as possible. Everybody have a wonderful day and I hope you have a wonderful and blessed Halloween. Bye guys.